Hey guys, I'm back. I know, it's been about two years since I have filmed and uploaded a video, but I'm back. I have like risen from the dead. Um, and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna come back with a haul video. So I'm not going to sit here and chat about where I've been or what I've been doing. I'm literally just going to get straight into this haul because it's a massive one. You may, may, may have noticed that I'm wearing no makeup. Um, I was going to put makeup on for the video, but then I was like inspired by Trisha Paytas to just be natural. So let's just get straight into the video. Now I have to heave this bag up. Oh my God. So I went to a local op shop that does fill a garbage bag for $4, $4 one garbage bag this puppy is full and i cannot wait to show you what i have gotten all right starting off with this sparkly shirt this actually has no label to it whatsoever it's like a really high neckline shirt i can picture this with like high-waisted jeans except the fabric is a little bit itchy so we'll see how that goes up next i got this vest this is like <laughs> really really old style like I don't even know I saw it and I thought it was really cute so I got it um it is by New York style in a size medium yeah now that I look at it I'm kind of like Ellie what were you uh what were you thinking there so I've got no idea how I'm gonna wear this how I'm gonna style it but uh we shall see Oh my god, I was so excited when I found this piece. I love when I find things brand new with tags. Like, I genuinely get very excited. And when the tag price is $130, and it's originally from Kukai, I get extra excited. So, I got this shirt. Hopefully, you'll be able to see it. It's like this weird, like, high neck peplum style that is never going to fit me. Like, that waist is, like, the same size as my neck. So... I will most likely end up selling this one or like giving it to one of my really, really tiny petite friends that will fit it. I then got this Valley Girl little sparkly silver knit. Once again, I love wearing jeans. If you head over to my Instagram, I'll have that link down below. I'm constantly uploading things onto my story and I'm pretty sure it's just like the same pair of jeans in four different colors. Like that's just all I wear. And I could see this like with jeans, you know, looking nice and cute. I then spotted this avocado shirt in a size 12. You know, I thought something different. I never wear stuff like this. I always feel like it makes me look like a heifer when I'm wearing like extra, I don't know, fabric over my body. But, you know, I thought I'd give it a crack. And yes, I am like trying to be like Trisha Paytas and like not edit this video because I haven't edited a video in two years. So just, you know, let that one sink in when you are judging my editing. I grabbed this fluoro angel Bieber dress in a size 12. It's just like one of those like massive like t-shirt style dresses and I'm trying to venture out into different colors because I can tell you right now I have never walked into a store and gone mm, where's the orange section like it just doesn't happen especially fluoro orange so we shall see you know who knows you might see this one on my Instagram I grabbed another flanny and I say another flanny like you guys know that in the past I've gotten other flannies. But you don't know that. So I will inform you. I like to wear flannies uh, with jeans because I think it just looks really cute. Oh, it is getting hot in here. Um, so I got another flanny. This one is by Free Fusion, which I'm pretty sure is Big W. I don't have a red and blue flanny. And I thought if ever I go camping, I can rock my red and blue flanny with my black jeans. And just look really, really good. Just look really happy with life. I got a pink dress. Who's this by, actually? Zara Basic. Ooh. So I got this bright pink Zara dress. And I actually think this is super cute. Like, I genuinely think I may be able to rock this. Like, as I said, I'm not an orange girl. 
I am definitely not a pink girl. I'm like blues and blacks and anything dark. Like if you come up with a darker color than black, I'd wear it. You know, I love it. But you know, this with like a statement piece necklace. We are coming into winter in Australia, as you guys know, or may not know, or if you're new to my channel, hello, uh, I'm Ellie and I'm from Australia and we are going into winter, but our winters aren't like American winters. It doesn't snow. We can wear stuff like this shirt and still be quite comfortable. Um, but I found this little jacket because I was struggling to find things that I can wear with high waisted jeans, you know, just so I get a little bit chilly. I need something to pop on. So I found this Valley Girl jacket. This is in a size 10. And it's just like a perfect little cropped jacket. And I tried it on at the op shop and I fell in love with it. So now to that one. I'm not sure what I was thinking when I grabbed this, to be 110% honest. This is by Mix. So that's Cole's brand. And it's a, um, like a really long romper is that what these are called long play suit i don't even know like these things don't suit my figure on a good day um so maybe i'll give this to a friend because like that's not at your waist that's at your hips so poor and my hips are like the biggest part of my body um yeah i'm not too sure we'll see what happens with this one but regardless it's like brand new condition would be really cute if the waistband was where the waistband should be. And I'm not even sure if it will fit me because I'm six foot two, so I'm 188 centimeters. And sometimes these things can be quite, uh, you know, short in the crutch region. I grabbed some teal jeans. I grabbed these jeans because the other day when I was at work, I saw this lady walk past me and she was wearing colored jeans. And I thought, oh my God, she looks really good. Keeping in mind, we look nothing alike, completely different figures. But I saw these teal jeans and they're in my size. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna give it a crack. So they are like, I don't know, blue green jeans. They're like full length, but they probably won't be full length on me. Yeah, we shall see if I end up wearing those. Next up, I got the same shirt in two different colors. So obviously the same person threw these out or that would just be weird. Um, so the first one is in this orange, like I don't even know what color this is. Beige, pink, orange, like it's a mixture. Um, yeah, I don't know why I grabbed it. I just really liked it. I have no idea how to style this, like I call it nighty style outfits. And then the same one except in grey with black. Maybe with like jeans or something. Oh my god, look at me. I need to like move away from jeans. But maybe I'll wear them with jeans. Who knows? Up next, I grabbed this Sadie Collection like oversized like long shirt dress. This is not for me. This is for my mother um, because... I, I could never rock this color. I would literally look like a piece of paper. Um, but she would like this. I think she'll wear it with leggings or something of the sorts. Um, once again, continuing with the I need jackets to wear with jeans. I don't know what compelled me to get yellow, but I love this place, like the filler bag place, because I can fill up a garbage bag for $4. And if I don't like something, that's fine because it cost me like nothing, but I got a bright yellow, yellow. I'm blonde. Blonde shouldn't wear yellow in my opinion, um, but a bright yellow like cut off jacket. Like honestly, tell me, what do you think? Like if I was sitting here like this in my bright yellow jacket, would I look decent? Oh, I'm not too sure, but this one is from Tempt and it's in a size 10. Oh my God, we're up to this one. So I was like walking out of the shop and I saw this and I tried it on with my blue jeans and my shirt that I was wearing. I tied it in the front and I just felt like I was at the Bahamas in jeans, which is normal. Um, and it's this, it is like a, <laughs> it's a Hawaiian shirt, except there's like splits already. And so you can like already tie it. 
yeah, I'm not too sure if I'm ever going to wear this or if I'll re-donate it back. But regardless, I rocked it for the day and I really liked it. I then found this Ali shirt. Just looks like this. It is a cropped floral um, shirt. I don't know if that focused. Maybe it didn't. Um, and it's got like these bell style sleeves and it's cropped. And because my jeans are high waisted, I thought, oh my God, that would look really, really cute. Like I'd look like a little hippie wearing my little floral like tie shirt. So I grabbed that. I haven't tried any of this stuff on by the way. So I don't know what any of it looks like. That will probably look horrid on me. Uh, next up, I got this shirt. This is the cold shoulder style long black shirt. Can you see that? I'm guessing you can. Like, let's hope so. Um, I love this style. Like, I love just showing a little bit of sneaky shoulder, especially in the winter. You know, just a little bit of a mm -mm, hello. Um, I like wearing these with high waisted jeans. And I like wearing them to work. So, yeah, grab that one. The only reason I got this shirt is because it was super soft. I don't actually know if I'd ever wear this or what, but it's a cotton on shirt in a size extra small. There's like tied up details at the front that really need to be loosened off so that it looks decent, but it's like a flowy, um, it's like that red color that looks like it's been washed one too many times. Shall we call it burnt red? Like I'm not too sure, but I don't even know. It's super, super soft. Like how would you style this? Oh, I'm not sure. Watch this space. I got a striper shirt. I love this like off the shoulder stripy shirt style on like everyone else. I've never worn it myself. So it's either going to go one way or another. Uh, this is like a little cropped thing. I don't actually know where this one is from because they cut the tags out. I don't even know which way this goes. Let's hope it can go both ways. I'm definitely going to wear it the wrong way. Yes. Stripes across though. Like, oh, not too sure. Clearly I'm loving the stripes look because I then decided to become a pirate and got um, this little cropped number. Or should I go as Where's Wally to the next Halloween dress up party? I'm not too sure. But yeah, this with like high waisted blue jeans. That might actually look really cute. Oh, we'll see. Oh my gosh. So I got this shirt. I found it really funny. So I had to get it. I don't know why. Like you'll look at it and be like, why is that funny? But I'll explain. So it says, I love Paris. It's in my size. Um, long story short, my mother, my brother and I uh, will be going to Paris um, to, you know, celebrate my father's anniversary. So I know that's a big thing that's happened since I filmed is unfortunately my father has passed away. Um, I will make a separate video about that if you guys want to hear for some reason, because obviously he was quite a young and active and agile man. Um, but yeah, unfortunately he passed away. And so next year to celebrate my father's anniversary, we will be in Paris as that is somewhere that he always wanted to visit. So I saw this shirt and I had to grab it because I was like, I am going to wear this in Paris. You know, I'll wear it for dad. Dad, this one's for you. I grabbed myself a Supre work shirt and I don't know why, but I love this color. It is like purple gray. I don't even know. I love it. Like, cause maybe I love it because I don't have like much color in my wardrobe and I'd wear this and be like, look at me wearing color. Look at me go, but it's still quite dark. Yeah. I don't know. I really like it. So grab that one for work. Up next, we have this shirt. I'm pretty sure this one's for mum. Yes. This one's for mum. It says B E A beautiful because my mum is seriously gorgeous. Um, she will wear this, I'm sure, with just like pants or something around the house. Like it's going to be really oversized on her because she's quite a petite little thing. But grab that one for Mumsy. Oh my god. Oh, saw this skirt. This is by Sex Kitten. Wow, it is genuinely by a brand called Sex Kitten. Made in Australia. Sex Kitten. I've never heard of them. <laughs> um, this is what the skirt looks like. It is a bright red satin skirt 
Oh, how sexy is that? Maybe that's why it's by a brand called Sex Kitten. I really like it. Um, and I don't know if it's going to fit me. It should do. What size is that? A 10. Yeah, that'll fit. I can't wait. I don't even know how I'd wear this or like where that is appropriate to wear, but I had to have it. What else have we got? Oh my God, going to the complete polar opposite. <laughs> I got this dress. This is by Cotton On and it's one of the off the shoulder dresses. It's got like these little pink flowers with these like little sleeves. I love off the shoulder. I don't even know though if I'd rock this. Like if I don't like something, it always goes to my mum because we are literally like the same size. So got that one. For work, I got this Boohoo. Jesus, I nearly dropped it. Um, I got this Boohoo dark green checked baby doll dress. Is that what these are called? I really like it. Um, I work as a nurse. So that's another thing that's happened is I finished my nursing and I now work as a nurse in a in an awesome hospital uh, in Brisbane and I am a like free dress closed nurse even though I work within the hospital I know maybe I'll explain that in another video as well but I get to wear whatever I want to work and I saw this there is like a little mark on the front but we'll get that puppy out and I just saw it with like leggings and my Doc Martens which are my work shoes oh I can't wait I can see it in my mind and you know how you have an outfit in your mind you're like yes that will be amazing and then you try it on and you're like once again for work i got this white is that a stain oh my god is that no must have been a shadow i was like jesus christ how did i miss that massive stain um just a white skin tight shirt i just i wear these to work as i said before i got another skirt i remember this skirt this is really cute this is by seduce and it is a, what is this fabric? That soft, not velvet. Oh God. Anyway, that fabric, suede. Is that what it is? Not sure. Um, maybe that's the feeling. I don't know, Jesus. I'm a nurse, I'm not, I'm not in fashion, clearly. Uh, so I got this skirt, it's just got the exposed zipper at the back, it's super soft. Now I saw this and I don't know why I really, really liked it. I have no idea how to wear this. I don't even know if it will fit me. It might be a bit too big, but I got this. Now I look at it and I'm like, what were you doing? Like, cause I haven't looked at this stuff in a few days. It's been sitting there waiting for me to get a chance to film. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna leave that one. Like just hanging there for a second because yeah, I don't even know. I don't know what compelled me to get this, but we are so close to the bottom of this bag. Can you believe all this for four bucks? Oh, bargain. All right, Tempt, uh, size 10. This style dress thing. I love when girls wear this with leggings um, and boots in winter. Because as I said, our winters, like I'm in Brisbane, our winters is like, oh, it's a chilly 19 today. Um, so I can wear that quite easily in winter. And then if it's long enough, I could wear that just in summer by itself. And I love the pattern. So I'm all about that one. Oh my God. Once again, on the, I saw someone I work with wearing this outfit and I thought, mm, I'm going to do that. So I work with a lady who wears like pants that have a really tiny waist and then they're just like boxy like stiff kind of boxy pants and they're like capris and she wears she wears them really well and i i, I was like i i want to be like that um so i found these pants i don't even know if this is the right style but they're white and i don't wear white so first thing wrong ding um but they're just like that boxy style little waisted capris We'll see if I uh, have the ability to rock these. Like I already have a very wide set ass. And so I feel like if I wear something like this, mm, yeah. Oh my God, guys, we're nearly there. Look at that. I'm just literally going to sit this out in front of me. So it makes my a little bit, a little bit easier. Uh, next up, I have this dress by Spicy Sugar. That's all quit if your sugar is spicy. Uh, I got this for my mum, but now that I look at it, 
like I might keep it for myself. It's one of those items you can get it when I'm done with it. Um, it's that bell style sleeve, that real hippie style. I don't know, I really like it. We'll give it a crack anyway. Um, I got this dress for a photo shoot that I have coming up. I still do modeling um, quite often. So I like to get stuff from filler bags so I don't have to pay a fortune for my clothes to model in. And this is a completely sheer dress with like a, with one of those boat collar. I don't know. <laughs> You guys probably listen to me and you're like, do you just make up words? And I think I do. So this is now considered a boat collar. Uh, it's sheer and it will be really, really good for the photo shoot that I'm wanting it for. I then got this really cute floral rumper. Now I'm pretty sure this is PJs, like awkward if it isn't, um, because it's pretty sheer and there's like lace on it, but I'd probably still wear it to Coles. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, late night Coles run in your cute PJs. <laughs> Because that's the type of person that I am. Uh, it's floral. I think they're roses. Oh, I love floral. That, that will never change. I still love floral. Speaking of love, uh, my best friend Renee, who used to film on Raw Power 101, I think, she still loves cats. And I saw this. This is a brand new PJ shirt and it's covered with cats and it's like catnap, cats, cat, cat, cat. So I grabbed it for her. Now we are really trying to get into the colors here. So like, I don't know, watch your eyes as I show you this next piece. Um, sports girl size small, Bazanga. It is bright orange. Once again, I don't walk into a shop and I'm like, point me to your orange section, but I really like this. It is a peplum style, but very minor peplum, if that makes sense any sense at all. Um, I have way too much energy. It's early in the morning. Uh, yeah, not sure how I'll wear it, where I'll wear it, but I really liked it. Grabbed this, oh my god, Nymph Make an Entrance. This is the coolest tag. Can I just show you that? It's like rubber. Weird. Um, I got this Nymph shirt, I thought with jeans. It is very clicky, clicky clacky. Anyway, um, I got this shirt. I could probably wear it to work as well. Not too sure. I got, I just didn't realize what I'd gotten just then. I got this shirt from Valley Girl. I think this one will most likely end up going to mum. It is a stripy like style that has straps over your shoulders like so, but then like goes off your side as well. That's pretty cute. Like with jeans or something. Clearly I'm liking the off the shoulder stuff because I found another one that's off the shoulders. This is, oh my God, it's brand new with tags. Oh, I love when that happens. So brand new with tags, originally $12. So more than all that clothing cost me just to point that one out. Um, it's another one of those off the shoulder style shirts. I think these look really cute. And then I try them on and I just look stupid. So Yes, we shall see. I got a Shein. Oh my God, I don't own anything by Shein. Ah, oh, look at me go. I got a Shein, uh, what is this? One of those romper things again? After saying rompers don't suit me, but this one has like a, like a, oh, is that an arm? No, that's definitely a tie up. So I think it like wraps around. Are you getting this? Because I'm even confused. Um. There's the pants anyway. So there's the pants. And then there's obviously some tie up. Look, I will try this on and I will take a photo and I will put it on my Instagram because it just is one of those things that you've just got to see on, I think. The second last item, oh my God, we are coming to the end and I literally have a pile of clothing just right there. Um, once again, the I like watching what people wear at work. Uh, I saw someone wearing this style of pant, but not in satin. And I found it in satin. Wow, that is so shiny on camera. And I just had to get them because you know what? I could rock this, I reckon. I think I can. Like high-waisted satin pants. What shoes I'd wear, I have no idea. Like if they're not capri I'll probably cut them to be so. 
is she going to bed or does she work in a law firm? Like you'd never know and I love the versatility about that. The lucky last item that I have to show you guys is this cotton on dress. This is in a size medium and it's like a really nice style dress but like in a typical jersey sort of like t-shirt material. I'm into it. So, all right, so that is my first video back in two years. I really hope you guys did enjoy. As you guys heard, there were some bombshells in my uh, video today. Sorry about that. I will film a video, if that's not morbid, kind of explaining what happened with dad um, and why unfortunately he's not here with us anymore. And I genuinely mean that. It is so unfortunate. I know like when I showed the shirt, it, it was probably just like really casual, like, oh, by the way, my dad's not here anymore. But you know, it naturally does hurt. Um, and so I'm happy to film a video about that if you guys want some form of explanation regarding that. But I hope you enjoyed my haul. I do have an AliExpress haul coming up, which is kind of like wish.com and that's a big one. So stick around for that. I'll have all my socials down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.